Hello, it's a blessing and a lovely welcome to all of you wherever you are. We are back here at the Tusa on the day when we bring you a second match between uh, a second match of this venue. The first was between Invincible Eleven and of course Junior Professionals. The second is between Discoveries who are continuing the journey of Discovery against Inform um, Jubilee FC. Jubilee are owned by the Church of Jubilee of Bishop Allen Clyde. They have been around for a very long time. They write the names for themselves on so many occasions. They are one of the founders. They won the first leg of this game by two goals to nil. And of course, Discoveries have continued their Discoveries journey. They are youthful and exuberant. They must, took, they must score at least three goals on answer this afternoon by Jubilee FC to find themselves in the next stage of this competition. Our pleasure to welcome you in the midst of the drumming, in the midst of the singing, in the midst of the chanting, in the midst of everything associated with top level, top class football. This is Intel. We are Liberia's premier. And of course, I run you through the list of the two teams, uh, the match officials first, and then we, we run you through the list of the two teams. Well, let's go to the list of the two teams, beginning with Jubilee FC, who will start with Thomas Bro in attack, Ezekiel Cohn, uh, Trokon Yance leading the attack, and of course, our Benigo Tier, Titus Smith, uh, Aaron Sebway sits in the middle, and of course, Alves Peters, Vamba Dolly, Samos Mamora, Samos Samora, and of course, Isaiah Dolopaibu uh, in the heart of defense, of course, they sit behind Jefferson, ahead of Jefferson Massacre, who is their goalie. Youth and exuberant uh, Discoveries Football Club have in their post Elijah Coleman, Jonathan Freeman, where's Jason number seven? He's the leading talisman. Augustine Kekula, Sir Moses Jr., C4 Steve Boy Babo, Melvin Weiss, Augustine Moba, Darius Moba, Franklin Vambo, Jared Lahai. Vanny Dolly, the substitute are uh, Samuel Michel, Peter Harley, Sam Peewee, Abel Ota, Herbert Kier, Osman Kamara, Abdullah Sheriff, Simeon Chiple. Coached by Stephen G. Ta and of course assisted by Coach Avira Bayoga. Discoveries will continue that discovery speed. Hello and welcome. They take on Inform, of course, themselves, who are a very good team. They will write the history for themselves. They haven't won the first leg by two goals to nil. Troker Yance is in the Jubilee squad. He is a left footed player and a delight to watch. They've got an attacking machinery that is potent. Ezekiel Cohn is a powerhouse. And of course, um, they also got alongside Ezekiel Thomas Brown, who is a natural finisher as well. Fidesco Bestman is in the middle of the park at the central referee. And uh, he will be assisted by two of uh, one of some of his uh, best colleagues whose names we'll get to very, very soon. He's going to sound his whistle anytime soon and the hostilities will begin. Jubilee are in the uh, dominant green and white. Discoveries always are in the gold and sparkling green colors. Maybe they've come to discover, but they must discover in the sparkling form. Jubilee must not be able to score a goal against them. That's the only way they can qualify. There goes the whistle and the discoveries who are in possession immediately. Three goals they must score this afternoon and those three goals must be unanswered by a jubilee. Discoveries have a difficult task, very, very difficult task, but they've climbed mountains before as well as the jubilee, not the jubilee, but the Wolokisi mountain, I remember. Maybe they just have the pedigree to do this on this occasion. But of course, the Church of Jubilee will be praying strongly for their team. And of course, Bishop Allen Clay and his team will be locked up somewhere in a closet, praying to have their team go to the next stage. Still bubbling, Avis Peters down the side. Jonathan Freeman gets his first touch. That's what they do, discovery. Sibos Babo is moving in behind that defense. Melvin Wissers ball. And the goalkeeper of Jubilee. 
Samora's long ball. Token Young Sevo talked about him, had a stint with Jubilee, and his left foot is incredible. Plays it backward. Melvin Wissa will get it. Sifos Babo plays it. And Isaiah Dolobapu goes underneath. Sifos Babo. And Sifos, trust me, is not going to have it as easy as he wants this afternoon. Jubilee themselves are leading here into this game by two goals to nil, having played two. Uh, wanted and wanted the first leg by two goals to nil. They are not going to give their lead away so easily. And Jubilee will fight for everything. But discoveries, as always, they discover new horizons. They might just discover another one of those this afternoon. But tough eight will be. And it's a foul. And it's a foul. Striking or attempting to strike. It's a yellow card. <laughs> it's an infringement of the law, you can say. Striking or attempting to strike is an infringement of the law. And Sir Moses should not be striking. It's an attempt or, <laughs> you know, striking or an attempt to strike, you know, trying to retaliate. He's just survived by the skin of his teeth. He should be getting a yellow card from the referee. Uh, they will have top games. They will not always have easy games. And they need to stand up now. This is one of those days when they've got very tough games on hand. And Jubilee will pass. They are also a youthful team, Jubilee. Yes. Chokon Yance wins it. Isaiah Dolobapu. Jubilee will go back in their own half. Jubilee are an enterprising team. Hard a stint with them. They play beautiful football as well. Ezekiel Kuhn is the captain. There he is on the ball. He's a powerhouse of a striker. He's going to fight his way through. He finds his way. Ezekiel Kuhn! And they skim the post. It's a declaration of intent from Jubilee. I said he's a powerhouse of a striker. He is angry. He didn't get it on target. But the declaration of intent you can see. And Jubilee are not going to let it go so easily. Discoveries will have a top fight this afternoon. And they must live up to it. Right? Just by the skin of their teeth. Discovery survive. It's going to be tough for them. You can see and see it. But there they are. And the ball bubbles into touch. Long ball looking for Ezekiel Kuhn. Jubilee pushes the ball forward. It's Titus Smith in the middle of the park wearing just number three. He's a young player. Very young. Titus has a long way to go. He's going to help his team Jubilee to fight for every ball this afternoon. Discoveries will keep it. Playing short balls. Sir Moses get it. Discoveries are good. Melvin Wissett gets it. But they are the ones who are supposed to fight even more in this game. Because they are down by two goals to nil before we commence this game. Just come out and come out all strong to win it. Long ball forward. Looking for problems. See first bubble down that side. And it is a waste ball. Well, we're going to see how Discoveries can play a high-tempo game and come from behind win it. We've seen them on so many occasions. But this is an FA Cup tie. A tie that Jubilee themselves are so much interested in this afternoon. The two side is noisy. The two side is glittering in football terms. And the two side is a place to be to enjoy a super football. See first Babo. Get said, looking for Jonathan Freeman who is moving diagonal. And it's beats the ball beats Freeman. And there he is, the captain of Discoveries Football Club. Where's Justin number seven? And when it matters most, he can stand up. He's gonna stand up when it matters most. He stood up for discoveries on so many occasions. 
And when it matters most, can he stand up on this occasion, on this night? Ezekiel Kung goes to air. Titus header. Long ball looking for Jonathan Freeman. It was Darius Morba's ball. Samora for Jubilee. And the bus up. Freeman! Never write him off. It's a turn off a strike. Rosa on the deck after that 40 pass. And Freeman will do what he loves to do. Post it at the back of the net for discoveries. On his first occasion, the goalkeeper keeps it. Jefferson Massacre keeps it. But he has said it already. It's a message he sent to him. I'm going to be around on today's game, come to an end. I'm going to do what I love to do. Hit it at the back of the net. If you got me to contend with. The net of Freeman sends it message. Jefferson Massacre responds. This is Intel live from the two sides. Noise in the midst of thinking, the dancing, the chanting, in the midst of everything associated with top level, top class football. This is Intel. And of course, I am Teofilos Chico live here in commentary position. C Force Babo keeps it challenged. And Deco Samora challenges very well. And it bubbles off the right foot of C Force Babo into touch. And it's a goal kick. Uh, discoveries. They look poised to be a first division team at the end of the season. Still got some fight to put up. That man who just touched it, Jonathan Freeman, is being the Dallas Mante player. He lays it in front of Babo. And that would have been one of the beautiful, the most beautiful goals we've seen. Their game is fluid, it's telepathic, it's calculative, it's brilliant. The game is mobile, the game is youthful and exuberant. They have what it takes to turn the screws. They've been a team discovering new horizons and they are just capable on any night to do it. Maybe it's one of those nights this afternoon. Confident. Relax, compose, discoveries. They know how to play beautiful football. And they know how to draw the fans into all this. They know how to rumble the stadium into Raptors. Jonathan Freeman is on there. It's a lot for the ball. Laid across the face of post. Discoveries. Babo. And it's straight into the arms of the goalkeeper, Jefferson Massacre. Well, Discoveries will entertain you. They will do just that. They will never stop entertaining you. Not only do they entertain you, they make making questions, they create chances, and they look for goals and they win games. Live from the Tusa, it's game on here. Yeah. Well, he leaves it for his goalkeeper, Jefferson Massacre. Deco Samura leaves it. Massacre floats it inside. Well, maybe Jubilee may not be the most entertaining of this, game, of this time, but they could just, on the basis of purpose, play a game of purpose. We saw Liberia play a game of purpose last night. They weren't the most entertaining, but trust me, they got what they wanted. Maybe it's one of those nights for Jubilee. Discoveries might just play and play. And if they don't score, Jubilee might find their way through and win this game. But it's going to be impossible in my mind to stop Discovery from scoring in this game. From the way I see them play, from the way I've seen them play, they are a team that is capable of scoring. So too are Jubilee. They are capable of scoring. But on the night as to who qualifies, well, it's still going to be a long, long way to decide. 
maybe in the last minute we find out or along the way when we find out who's leading and take a look at the dynamics of this game we could be able to make a decision but in the end for now it's still tight and if it stays like that it is jubilee who will lead who will go through because they are on two goals already free kick the referee fidesz kill see my best man the ball is floating header outside by Alves peters of jubilee this is where Jubilee could be dangerous. Trokon Yance poses to and is looking for his teammate Zikeko. And the floater inside. Long ball. Trokon Yance fights. And the referee says it's a foul committed. Jubilee under pressure. Wow, well, Jubilee. They will come forward. It's discoveries. Looking for Jonathan Freeman. It's intercepted from Freeman. Ezekiel Kuhn. Let's say beyond Stroker Yense. Yense has a left foot. He's going to strike it. If he has an opportunity, he will. And again, they come close. Well, he comes left, comes right, and finds that little opportunity. Then squeezes it down the goalkeeper right corner. And he just takes a dip of his finger and it goes off target. Never write Jubilee off. They are a good team. Stanley Parker is in the dugout for Jubilee Football Club. He's a long time customer for football in Liberia. He's been around, he understands the league. And he knows how to respond in situations like this. Their mentality is good. They're fighting for everything. And Jubilee will be no fluke. Stroke on Yance. If it's stroke on Yance, it has to be your left footer. And it floats her right. Elijah Coleman gets it. It was Abenigo Tia who had said. And it's cleared by Jubilee. Vamba Dole. Two young central defenders for Jubilee. I, I, I love their height. And I love their body structure. They are mobile. Two central defenders. Samora and Vamba. Yeah, I think I'm falling in love with their, their defensive quality. You know, I had a short stint with... Um, Jubilee as technical director before <laughs> venturing to um, <laughs> coaching again or uh, placing more attention into uh, my commentary job at Intel. That was when Emmanuel Wena was uh, president temporarily, but then we had to move on because we got some we had some engagements until I was called by <laughs> CC to come and do some work. But Thomas brought down that side. Yeah, I knew this game would be full of energy. You know, uh, I'm say, I had a thought given what uh, we did at uh, Jubilee, what we left, the intent, you know, all of the coaches, the players, what the mindset was. And Bishop Allen Clay has always said that he wanted a youthful team. He wanted a team that would be mobile. And Titus Smith is one of them, but Titus is the one who plays it. It's a yellow card. From uh, Aaron Sebret.
And the referee gives Aaron Subway a yellow card. He uh, flashes a yellow card in his face. Sam Moses Lombo into the arm of the goalkeeper, Jefferson Massacre. Good fighting spirit from Jubilee. And of course, good fighting spirit from Discoveries. They are the ones who are supposed to fight even more. The Kugare is a Still finding their way through. Lahai. Lahai is dispossessed. Discoveries are on it. More about Daros. Well, Jubilee wins it. Titus Smith. George Segwe plays it for it. Joko Yance. He's going to be cool, calm, and collective. Love his composure. He's going to strike it. Trokon, very dangerous player he is. Very calm and collective. Trokon Yance. Where well, there's any, any, any talented player, any special player you're looking for in the Jubilee squad, it has to be Trokon Yance. Put him in form. Keep him in front of goal. He is a delight to watch. Fantastic striking ability. There is a lot of power on his left foot. And he's able to weave his way through in and out. But there is Sam Moses. Discoveries Jonathan Freeman. Dazes his way through. Challenge. Dispossess. Well, they will hold him. They will keep him. They will press him everywhere possible. <laughs> well, I would have loved to keep uh, Troko Nyonse in behind the three midfielders are playing in an attacking role, much more attacking, close to the three attackers if I were the Jubilee coach. Titus Smith. He's young. I talked about him. Yeah. There was a lot of energy in the Jubilee squad as well. There was a lot of energy in the Discovery squad. He's on the overlap. It's good. Sad and he's dispossessed. Augustin Moba. But he could be caught on the break. He's left a space behind his team. Well, he should not be taking Titus Smith. Gets a, gets a return, title. He's into the body. Let's it off. And it's just inches. Well, a goal for Jubilee will kill this game, trust me. Because discovering the three goals unanswered in this game to qualify for the next stage of the Orange FA Cup. Well, titles is not title, but uh, Jonathan Freeman should be very careful on that occasion. He has to get a yellow card unless he's lucky and survive a, sk a skip. But if he continues to play like this, this isn't going to be a good football day for him. Trust me, it will not. He has to keep his composure. He has to keep calm. Yeah, I think he's so much preoccupied by the fact that they are down two goals before the commencement of this game. And I think there's so much ego in changing the scoreline. And it's made it difficult for them. You know, usually by this time, they will get at least one or two goals. But it's still not over yet. They still have a long time to play. And maybe the sense in that Jubilee are a force to reckon with. And they might just be unsettled. But they need to be composed. They need strong mentality and strong attitude to, to get this game going forward. Augustin Moba will come forward. He's going to cross the halfway mark. Say Lahai. 
Ah, it's tough side. Well, they've been consistent. Their team has been consistent. Their team has been consistent. Talking about discoveries. Ezekiel Cohn. Titus! Well, it's a good one from Titus Smith. Lahai. Kessa and Lily lose some space behind. Kessa return. Tolo Bapu gets it. Thomas Bro, Abenigo gets it. Jubilee, they are good in attack. And it's a good one for Elijah Kumet. In the header. Well, trust me, Jubilee are fighting. They're playing beautiful football. Take nothing away from them. I think they've stood up. If there was anything in this game that has won my admiration so far is the ability to fight for every ball. That courage, that zest, that hunger to fight for every ball when, when, when discoveries are in possession. They go for every ball. Jubilee are going for every ball. And that's what you need to do. Be hungry. Find the courage, find the drive and determination to go for every ball. And it puts you on par with your colleague, with your teammates with your opponent. I think they've got the spirit in this game, Jubilee. And then we're asking the question as to whether discoveries are going to discover new horizons this afternoon. Well, it's still a question on the table as to whether they've got the wherewithal to answer it. <laughs> Maybe we, we'll see what happens. Samos is speculative and it's way off target. It's a long ball forward looking for Ezekiel Kuhn. It was a Vamba Dolly's ball. Franklin Vambo in this world defender again by Vamba Dolly. Corner kick for Discoveries. Floater inside. And it's Jonathan Freeman. Chokoyanse. Post it forward for Titus. And Titus post it forward for Ezekiel Kuhn. Jubilee! Elijah gets it. Well, good football from Jubilee. Very good football from the two teams this afternoon. And it's an explosive. I did say it to be a breathtaking game this afternoon. It is. Melvin Wissett's ball into the... 18 of uh, Jubilee. It is an explosive football match. It is, trust me. Massacre Jefferson pushes it forward, intercepted. We said. It was uh, Darius Moore, but actually, we were just the number 14. And the two of them look alike, Darius Moba and uh, Frank, uh, Melvin Wissett. Alvis Peters, long ball. Finds Ezekiel Cone. Thomas Bro enters the box. Well defended. But they got purpose in this game. Jubilee has got purpose. They've got the bravery. And I think they've lived up to expectation in this game. Well, if you ever came here thinking that discoveries 
like they've always done, have dominated, they've always dominated, will dominate this game. Maybe you didn't show too much respect to Jubilee. Titus, he's a creative youngster, boy. He's a creative youngster. He finds his way. Titus, he has said. When's a little boy growing? Lots of confidence. Titus Smith. One of the youngsters recruited by Reverend Allen, a piece of Allen Clay himself. Trust me, I, I was there when he was brought on. Uh, the bishop has eyes for footballers. <laughs> he does. Well, this is where they could be dangerous. See first Babo. Good defending from Vambo Dolly. Vamba Dolly. And I've always talked about having the energy to continue on occasions like this. Two young players, the energy is as good as <laughs> as you want to as you want to describe it. Sifos Babo is good. Vamba Dolly is good. The pace, the energy, and the zest to want to want to win the ball and be on the ball first tells you that it is a fight that's going to continue up to the end of this game. A beautiful football from the Tusa. And we are live. If you just join us, this is Intel Sports, the premier of Liberian football. It's our pride. And it's our happiness to always have you joining us, wherever you are joining us from. We are Liberia's premier sports network. And we got a lot of you asking us yesterday as to whether we were going to bring the Liberia game live. Well, <laughs> uh, we're we fighting heaven and earth to be, to be able to screen some of this game, but it's still... Um, a bureaucratic process has still got some bottlenecks, but trust us, we will get there. Ezekiel Kuhn, he's on the shopping list of Ghana VFC. Ezekiel Kuhn, Titus Smith, Titus Poses True, and we didn't bring you the Liberia Djibouti game, but <laughs> I know you a lot of you were so angry. Lahai gets it, cuts his way through, lays it off. Franklin Vambo and it's lay off. Melvin Wilson misses. It's that was more about actually. And it is a continuation. That's what they can do. They will fight. And the goalkeeper comes up. <laughs> uh, well, I know we got a lot of you following us. Keep following Intel. We, we love to have you always. Beautiful football from the two side. The band will echo across in the stands. The fans will sink and they will dance. They will chant whatever they want to do because beautiful football. See, first Babo is on it. He's on the edge, looking for some space. Intercepted by Jubilee. Lahai goes. Lahai gets it and is beating. Trokon Yance is on the ball. He's going to cut in on his left foot. Lee Say for Titus Smith. Titus is going to pull his way through. He gets it. Titus is strong. He leads it for Isaiah Dolebapu. And it's a corner kick for Jubilee. Why are they going for some end of refreshment? Call it a cooling break. <laughs> well, my CEO, Bisario Barra, says, I'm in front of my television set 
I know you watch it <laughs> because it's, it's it's discoveries who are playing uh, one of the finest teams in Liberian football, and you always like to see them play. And of course, uh, you always love to have your fellow Chica as your commentator. I'm here, boss. But trust us, it's a beautiful football game this afternoon. <laughs> Lovely football game this afternoon. Beautiful football, good entertainment. The two teams are doing a brilliant job this afternoon. Well, if it stays like this, Bizarro Barros, um, Discoveries FC will lost 2 0 on aggregate and they will not be in the Orange FA Cup anymore. But trust me, their performance this season has been incredible. Absolutely breathtaking. Corner kick against them to be taken. And Zaria Dolobapu squares his outside. Titus Smith flashes the ball and his defender. Aves Peters rumbling his way through. And it's a foul against him. And live from the Tusa field, we are here I'm giving you a description of events as they unfold. And this is Intel Sports. We are Liberia's premier. Making incursions, Samoses. He finds a way. And just when you touch the first bubble, had his authority on it. Tonato Freeman sets as last post. He set it on the floor. He's calling on Cephas. Here I am waiting for your pass. But Cephas Babo takes authority, takes matters into his own hands. And it was close. And they missed. They need to get a goal in this game to keep them going. And a player of um, Jubilee is on the floor. He's their defender, Vamba Dolly. We are live from the Tusa field. Those of you who are asking, well, this is the Tusa field. This is Liberia. <laughs> this is not Morocco. This is not uh, Ghana either. This is Liberia. And we are coming to you live from the Tusa field. Well, if you ever thought Vamba Dolly stretch off the pitch. Well, we've got breathtaking football teams in Liberia. Just in case it's sitting there, you don't know. Come to Liberia and watch some of the games and you, you marvel how the pace of our game is growing. I think that's one of the things, you know, um, Coach Mario have come and it, the spice is going to add up because he has said that he loves high intensity football. Our game is slow. So obviously players in the Liberian League who wants to make their way to the senior national team will have to lift up their game. The intensity of that game will have to be good. You have to play fast. You have to increase your mobility. You have to increase your IQ. So you talk about the speed of thought, speed of action or any which way. All of those must be some of the attributes that you're going to bring to the senior national team. And to do that, you must deliver at your club.
The Stingerous for Jubilee. And it's today. And it's a header. And it's uh, Moses. Well, he knows he's come close. So close to celebrate something. And it's still just hanging in there. They haven't got that moment to celebrate yet. They haven't got that moment to discover something extra in this game. Yeah, he's been sandwiched by two players of uh, discoveries. And Ezekiel Cohn is on the floor. Ezekiel Cohn is uh, on the floor. And the game is stopped temporarily. He's going to be stretched off the pitch. And this has saved the Jubilee defender. Dolly will not return. He's, he's rolling in pains. And looks as if a substitution. Stanley Parker will be forced to make an early substitution. Tyrese White will come on. Tyrese has got fantastic height. And he comes on for the chap wearing jersey in number 26. Uh, not 26, jersey number 23. Van by Dolly. Tyrese White, come on. And Tyrese is wearing just it, number five. Is it number five? Yes. Yeah, Tyrese White is one defender in my mind who has got a very, very good high that I love so much. Yeah, take him against uh, Osemiye. Yeah, you can say they're going to be equal to the fight. As to whether he has the experience is another thing, but I love his height. Yeah, I love his height. Tyrese, he's a workaholic as well. Discoveries still keeping their focus and trying to come up with something. See, first Bible keeps it to the floor. He finds his way through. And it's on the overlap. Discoveries, and it's a corner kick. Looking for a goal in this game. Mobas, and it's a penalty. It is a penalty. It is a penalty. It's a yellow card for descent. Gets a car for descent. Alves Peters. The ball is played on his hand. Well, it's off his hand. And Alves Peters gets a yellow card. Discoveries have an opportunity to score one goal in this game to take the tally to 2 1 on aggregate. Sam Moses played for Liberia under 17, graduated now to the under 20. 
He came in face to face with Jefferson Massaquay. If he puts this one on target, discoveries find the zest to come up with the second and turn this game into something else. But in the meantime, the referee will have to quiet all of the players down for Jubilee. Fidesco Bestman has a difficult task on him, but he's been there before, and he will stamp his authority on this game. Massacre versus Moses. Where well, is a drama? Drama unfolding here at the Tusa. Sa Moses will make it 2 1. And maybe Discoveries will discover that another opportunity is available somewhere to make this game on 2 2. Moses against Jefferson. Moses and he misses. So Moses misses this one. The under 20 midfielder for Liberia, when it matters most, deliver for his club. Bundles the ball off target. And maybe their dream of going to the finals of the Orange FA Cup is dwindling, dwindling down. I uh, say. The ladder now is, is going negative this time around. Well, their hearts will be broken on the fence of discoveries. Because their dreams of going to the finals is taking the negative towards Jonathan Freeman. And it beats Moses. Choko Yansei. Gasset to his left foot. Place it for... Ezekiel Kuhn, Kuhn gets it, finds uh, Titus, Titus will keep it to his feet. He's a youngster, he's got the energy to continue, and it's a forte pass for him, but trust me, he's been so brilliant in the middle of the park. Titus Smith, where's Jesse number three for Jubilee FC? What a youngster, it's a delight to watch. He's left up, he stood up, and he's up to the task. Well, our dreams come true, but as to whether this dream for discoveries will come true to see themselves in the finals or to pass Jubilee is going to come true. Maybe still they've got an opportunity! And you can't write them off. Dreams come true. And as to whether this dream will come true to see themselves in the finals, that question seemed to have been answered by Cephas Babo on this occasion. They are back. So Moses missed a penalty. But their courage is in dumping. That dream is still alive. The Yellow Boys, Discoveries FC, are back. They've got one goal. And they could be, they could get a second. And it could be 2-2 two, two on terms. Or 2-2 two, two on aggregate. And maybe just this game would have begun. They will fight. And they are fighting. They still get some chance. They could get it. Discoveries can fight battles. And they're fighting this one too. They are still very much courageous. They're fighting. They got it. They almost came back. They almost brought their dreams back. The dream is alive. But the dream has just one more goal left to turn from negative to positive. Well, they will always discover new horizons. Maybe it's another one of those days for them. Something new could happen for them. Cross Jubilee. And you are in the next stage of the Orange FA Cup. Breathtaking football from them. The fighting, but Jubilee will stand up to the task. And maybe he could hit discoveries on the break on this occasion. But the goalkeeper Elijah Kume comes up, whose brother is also a fine player in the FA Cup, the cross. Let's go. A day before we came to this game. There they are. Babo! Babo blessing! And it's saved by the goalkeeper. 
The fight is on. The drive and determination is there. The courage is on. Oh, beautiful football. And whoever said there was no beautiful football in Liberia, if you did say that, trust me, we've got one of those games here. Chokonyan said he's going to put it on his left foot. If he does, well, discoveries must have their goals to think because if he does, it will be good for them. On the break, Jonathan Freeman is on it. He's offside. Well, we do play beautiful football in Liberia. Trust me, we do. And we do have good commentators in Liberia as well. We do. And we do have a very good television network, which is Intel Sports. We do. We do have some of the best football analysts, Ben Gologo Gakpa, Moses Gazeo. We do. And who said we were not there? We are there. We are going to be there more, even more than you ever imagine. And who says our fans are not noisy? They will be noisy on Tuesday at the SKD Sports Complex when the Lone Stars takes on Djibouti. And we will be there, probably, to do what we know how to do, to be the best fans. There are coaches urging them all. Discoveries are fighting. We are inching closer to the end of the first half. Good football. Chokon Yonsei. Chokon Yonsei. Play set for his teammate Abenigo. Where they should be attacking discovery. The shooting becoming by Yonsei. Do Chokon. He's a delight to watch. And there's and a blow by the goalkeeper. He is. I will have always admired his game. Well, if there's anybody, the shoe keeping close, the shoe keeping tight in that uh, Jubilee setup, it is Chokoyense. The chap wearing just in number 11 for Jubilee, it's a torn. He is a torn in the flesh of any good football team. He's a footballer, very creative, very tricky he is. There he is, drifting along this side towards commentary position. Well, I would have loved to play him right in behind the two attackers. In the meantime, Sir Moses. Well, Moses missed the penalty. Augustine uh, Moba overlaps. See first Babo clinically finishes. And the stadium rumble into a rap towards Glee because discoveries are. One nil in this game, but a two-one down on aggregate. A goal for them again will put this game on two to the aggregate. And the doors for qualifications will be open to either side. In the meantime, for now, it's open for Jubilee. And discoveries will still have to fight and fight even more than they've done in the early stages or in the first half. Ezekiel Kounsera. Avis Peter takes it. Well, I thought he should have taken it on the volley. Well, the ball has to be taken back. One nil at the two, sir. Discoveries lead, but they are down 2-1 on aggregate. They've got to come back with a second to put this game 2-2 two -two on aggregate. And make it more difficult for Jubilee. In the meantime, Jubilee could be a delight to watch Ezekiel Cohn looking for that opportunity, fighting, and he commits a foul in the process. Well, don't write Jubilee off. A goal for them will change the language, will change the fortunes also of discoveries. Great pairs. Jonathan Freeman gets it, Sir Moses looking for it. And it's the end of the first half. Breathtaking first half. Entertaining football. From all indications, the two teams are so close. But on the afternoon, when you needed a goal, it came from discoveries because they were down in this game by two goals to nil on aggregate they were. Sir Moses missed a classic penalty in a splendor of a fashion. He did. But when the matter of most Augustine Moba springs up, he comes on the overlaps and he finds his way in behind the Jubilee defense and he laid it off. It was Sifas Babo who put it 
on target for discovery. The lead here by one goal to nil. Janetta Freeman is yet to score. Maybe they still got hope to bring their dreams alive. From live, live from the two side field, this is Inter. We're taking a break. We'll be back for the second half.
So we are back at the two south for the continuation of the second and final half where dreams may probably come true for either of the two sides. If it stays like this, it's Jubilee, the team in the green, who sells true to the next stage of this competition. And if um, discoveries are able to come back on level terms and bring this game into penalty shootouts, anything came on, and this is until we alive from the two side field. Until Philos Chicken, of course, our Moses Gaza was somewhere hundreds of thousands of miles away. It's missing what we love to do more. <laughs> and of course, our Ben Gorogo Gakpa is going to be here alongside me tomorrow at the Tusa Field, not as commentators, but the Sports Writers Association will be playing her first game. It's uh, Ben Gakpa, who is going to be the head coach. And of course, the Philos Chico as technical director. So we're going to be having our Sports Writers Day here. And we will be taking on the fence of our librarian football. Just to tell you what we are up to, bring you up to date. But in the meantime, it's a throw in. Quickly taking a long one, header outside. Sam Moses gets it, turns right. Still composed and keeping it. Discoveries will have to do what they know how to do. And they will leave the ball to Jubilee. Um, into that own half, they need to get it out of there and they find some space on this side. They will attack, play will continue. Discoveries will push forward, but they come on the edge of the halfway mark and they will fight on. They'll fight on, play continues. Long ball, Babo Flosser inside. Jonathan Frema goes to it. And it's. Um, play continues. Long ball floated deep inside across. And it's head out. Jubilee will have to fight for it. Jonathan, not Jonathan, but Elijah Kume keeps it. Well, he's no different. Uh, he, he looks like his brother Lawrence Kume. Sometimes it looks as if they are twins. But his brother applies straight for Pinsville FC, Formula Life FC. A season ago, he was on 22 goals at the highest goal scoring midfielder in Liberia. Lawrence Kume, that is, he's also. Uh, into the next stage of this competition. Maybe he might play against his brother. You never know. Jonathan Freeman. He hasn't put his name on the score sheet yet. Babo Flosse. Moses. And it's offside. They are the team. Everybody wants to see. In the finals, probably. Well, they know what they're here for. They've got a dream that they want to bring through. They probably want to uh, make a substitution. It's Lahai who has been substituted and is being replaced by his teammates wearing jersey number 15, Abel Ta. Well, Lahai is hoping. And he's being sneaked off the pitch. But discoveries will continue from where they stopped. Jubilee will still try to hold up. Anything is possible. This is game on. Well, they've got to play football. Jonathan Freeman. It's kept to the floor. squared and it's into touch for corner kick it was Augustin Kekula's uh, cross corner kick Kekula poses forward Jonathan Freeman is looking to hit it on the volley well he hasn't put his name on the put his name on the score sheet yet maybe when he does it's going to be done and dusted for discoveries well, until their spirit gives up. It means Jonathan Freeman had not hit the back of the net. But once he's got him on the pitch, 
They know there is still something in the coffers. They know there's still something positive to show. He is the team leader. He's the captain. And they will find him. And when they do find him for that golden opportunity. Vambo. And it's defended by Titus Smith. It is not a second yellow. And it's, it's not going to be a direct red. It's Samora. Tyrese White is there. Tension is brewing. It's dangerously poised for Jubilee. Positively poised for discoveries. Two one on aggregate. Jubilee leads. See first bad boy is on it. He has to bring that ball outside. Jonathan Freeman is communicating with him. The players of um, Jubilee and the players of Discoveries are moving at each other's throat. It's a game. It is on. The movement is going on. Babo. Pushes through. Head up. It's missed. It's well rehearsed. It's a game. It's a training ground rehearsal. Um, this is another from a moving between and it comes back and it shows up. And it's square by C first Bible. It's something probably they must have done at their training ground. And of course, in football, we are told that your, your game is a reflection of your training ground. Never forget that. It's a professional coach myself. <laughs> it's something I'm always reminded of. Well, most of these guys say, well, you did say you'll be back. Yes, I know you'll be back at me. He's looking for that chance. Titus, good confidence from them. Isaiah Dolobapu. It's uh, Thomas Brock, I say. Lays it off. He's going to lay off. He finds his way. Well, he's been surfaced because Ezekiel Kuhn is moving diagonal. And I tell you that square there. Freeman, looking for some movement down that side. It's squared outside. It's a fight on. Titus Smith will get it. Keeps it. Thomas Bro to Titus Smith. While well, Smith is keeping calm and collective. Ezekiel Kuhn gets it. Keeps it to his feet. Yes. Finds his way. Looking for something. And they'll fight for it. And it's played back into their half. Elijah come and gets it. Discoveries will come forward. The still got dreams to come through, to put through. And it's offside. Massive, breathtaking, poor sitting football at the Tusa. For a moment, the stadium is, is silent. Discoveries sat this stadium ablaze before the end of the first half. But they still haven't got their dream come true yet. Because they know very much if it stays like the eight is. Jubilee, who are in the finals, not the finals, but in the next stage of this competition, probably the semis. We said, it's a driving pass. He drives in in front. Vambo, Franklin, you need to keep it. It's a foul committed. Mm -hmm. 
Long ball. Avis Peters. It's a free kick for Avis Peters of Jubilee. He has all the time in the world to play a long ball. He does on his left foot into the half of our discoveries. Still kept alive. Segway. And there's a uh, plate. Define it. Good football. Freeman Kostai gonna lay it off. See first Babu gets it. Well defended by Samora. And it's picked up by Ezekiel Kuhn. He's strong. He is very, very strong. Finds his way. And it's an opportunity. It's laid off. Chokon Yance. And Chokon is dispossessed so easily. Discoveries are in possession. Wow, well, the reaction is good. Choco Yance wins it. Choco Yance is going to square it. Oh, my word. I thought you would have struck it. Franklin Vamo finds his way. And it's well defended. Substitution is about to be effected. Jubilee got two players warming up. It's traveling in behind the Jubilee defense. But the goalkeeper comes out and he saves. And it's played into touch. Substitution. But play will continue. The referee have not got any signal yet for the substitutions. It's coming up. Out for Jubilee is number 29. Segway. Aaron is on a yellow card. Good decision from the coach. And he's been replaced. By another workaholic. Wearing jersey number 29. For, is it number 29? And they are number three. Jubilee. Tito Smith is out. And Tito has been replaced with the number 10. So, uh, Aaron Sewell wears jersey number 29. He's been replaced with the number 6. And Titus Smith wears jersey number 6. He's been replaced with their number 10. There they are. Jubilee. His first ball is wasted. He's going to keep it in play. Van Boys on it. And 
and it's won by very good game this is where they could be dangerous he's going to cut across the goalkeeper he finds it and he's going to play behind the goalkeeper he does and the goalkeeper picks it up where he needed to take his time Where well, Ezekiel Cohn came across the goalkeeper. Why well, he should have gone to the floor. Um, he wouldn't have been theatrical on that occasion. The ref would have blown because he got a <laughs> it was a touch on him. Well Jubilee, in all fairness, I put up a brave, fantastic, superb fight against Young and Inform Discoveries Football Club. And Jubilee themselves are a very good, youthful team. I, I'm looking at this team. It's, it's a brave, fantastic fight for them. Trust me, they've got my respect. I love the fighting spirit. Ezekiel Kung goes up, Trokon Yonsei. And the goalkeeper comes up. Discoveries will come forward. We said intercepted by Dolo Bapu. Choko Yonse on his left foot. Lee said it was where well, he needed to cut inside on his left foot, but he tried to play it thinking Ezekiel Kun was going diagonal. Just when he thought he did, he did not. Is that man who is the captain? Moses and is taking a dip. Well, Sir Moses, the under 20 midfielder, takes his time and his, his right foot a strike is taking a dip, but a little bit too far off target. And you can sense his intention anyway. And the goalkeeper of um, Jubilee. On the floor, the church boys have given a good account of themselves in this game. The church boys of Bishop Allen Clay are doing a fantastic job this afternoon. They are in the lead by two goals to one on aggregate. But this afternoon, they are down by one goal to nil. They won the first leg by two goals to nil. And in the second, they are trailing discoveries by a goal to nil. Courtesy of Cephas Babo. But let's remind you that that man who wears the number six chef for discovery, Sir Moses, did miss a penalty a few minutes later before Cephas Babo came off with that strike. So Thomas brought into the box. He finds his way. Thomas brought cuts his way through. Well defended. Yes. Jonathan Freeman leaps into the front of our. And he's looking for Cephas Babo. Well, as long as Jonathan Fuma is on this pitch, the fit falls of discoveries will just not panic. They still think they've got chance. They still think they've got space. Even if he doesn't score, they still think somebody somewhere is going to score from his help, or his assistance or something. This is where Jubilee could be dangerous. Jubilee are playing on the break. Thomas Brock has said, it's play continuous, says the referee. And it's uh, well, was there a penalty for Thomas Bro on Thomas Bro? Was there a touch? Was there contact made? Well, probably contact, but not contact enough to uh, warrant a penalty. And play will continue. 
Kim continues. Thomas Brock gets it. And he's coming outside. Jonathan Freeman leaves. Freeman! And he's looking to combine with um, his strike partner. It's taken. Nothing we said cuts inside. And he flashes the ball well defended. Thomas Bro will come. And it's so sustained pressure from discoveries. Into the box. Tyrese White gets it. Excellent football from them. And it's offside. Why he's on the floor. Augustine Kekula is on the floor. His muscles are stretched out. But he still stands up. He looks to be dealing with some hamstrings there. Thomas Bro is also on the floor for Jubilee. Substitution. Franklin Fambo is out of this game. And he's being replaced. Well. He's been replaced with a player wearing a suggested number six. Still difficult to get that number out of here. But very soon we'll let you know who has replaced Vambo. Long ball forward. Place with the chap wearing just a number eight is uh, Peter Halley. Replaces Franklin Vambo. Intercepted. Jubilee will come forward. Choko Yensei is fouled. Foul committed in a dangerous position. Maybe 27 yards in my estimation. Or 30 yards, uh, so to speak. Flashes, Abenego flashes the ball. Well, it's a poor strike. Technique is not good at all. He's got some trouble there to do it. Something difficult to handle. Trocon Yense. Well, Trocon is a fine player, but I think he hasn't found that little space to strike. He's got some opportunities, but from what I'm usually know him to be doing is what he's not doing in this game. Every time he finds that little space on his left foot, he has to strike at goal. He's not doing that in this game. Probably he has a different game plan in this game. It's making his game a little bit difficult. Or better still, you need to give and take. Um, give and take. Moses missed a penalty in this game. Halle Peter is offside. Well, 
Well, high intensity game. The intensity of this game, the tempo has dropped down a bit in the second half. Probably is going to pick up in the Chokoyansi, yes. Thomas Bro goes in. And Thomas Bro will have to find his way into that box. He's going to square it outside, but it's challenge. Moses. Kekula. Well, no foul committed. I mean, he wasn't touched. He played the ball. Um, got his two feet in the air, of course. Kekula. Well, Tyrese White, good composure from him. And he leaves it well. Discoveries. Still looking for something deep into the... Moses! Well, Jubilee. In front of Jonathan Freeman! Well, Samora... If he's never defended before on this occasion, he's defender and he's defender gallantly for Jubilee. Because Jonathan Freeman, it was done and dusted. While Deco Samara is lying on the floor, he saved Jubilee. Very good defending. Yeah, trust me, he saved Jubilee. It's a long corner taking again. Deco Samara has, well, he's one of the best central defenders in the second division league. Deco Samara plays for Jubilee. It's a fine player, trust me. There he is, plays a long again. Ezekiel Kong. Doesn't have that massive footwear, but he's got the energy. Chokoyan say, that's what he's capable of doing. True, complacent. Yeah. Kekula will come across the halfway mark. Intercepted. Kekula is on it. It's a long ball into the half of um, Jubilee. Foul, oh, my word. Well, they came close. Not too close enough to have gotten the ball on target, but see first babble. From where we come forward again for well, good football discoveries are keeping the pressure alive. Deco Samaras will hello again. He does well. Is he can come push up a fight? Well, good defending from the Augustine Moba there. It's kept 
And uh, Jonathan Freeman finds his ways, looking for that little opening. But Jubilee will defend. And they will have to Van Indole. And it's fight for every ball. Discoveries. If it stays like this, they are out of the competition. But they've put off a massive fight, you can say. They've made their presence felt in these competitions. It's the first time in the FA Cup, the Orange FA Cup. And it's head out. Oh, Freeman will come. And they're still maintaining that. It's the first season in the second tier of Liberian football. And they've shown class. Discoveries. It's a young team kept together from the non-league stage. Or maybe the championship, you can say. And they have developed the principles of team play. They know themselves. They understand what they do on and off the ball. And... Melvin, we say, is just thinking probably it's not their day. The goalkeeper of Jubilee is still on the floor. He's been given some medical attention. It's a throw in to be taken by Augustine Kekula. Melvin Wissers ball. Long one intercepted. Discovery is still fighting. Jonathan Freeman gets it. Still Discovery is fighting. But it's well defended by Jubilee. Jubilee will come forward. And again is picked up. And so the pressure is on Jubilee, you can say that. It's Kobe, and it's offside. Jubilee is still fighting, but they're keeping their lead on aggregate here by two goals to one. But it's Discoveries who are leading on the night by a goal to nil. Jubilee will move on. Still got some. This could be trouble. And it has the crossbar. Still Jubilee living by the skin of their teeth. And how did he hit the crossbar? Augustine Kekula. Every player of 
discovery is in the half of Jubilee, apart from these two who are seated on the halfway mark, deep into Jubilee's half. That's how numerical <laughs> disadvantaged Jubilee is, or Jubilee are. They are pushing more men up front. They're taking risk now, discoveries. And if for any reason Jubilee finds that opportunity to stage a counter attack, it's a corner kick, the ball slips from the goalkeeper. Substitution is about to be effected. Number 19 comes on, and number 11 is out. Trokon Yense is off for Jubilee. And their number 19 comes on. It has to be George. Well, he comes to us on Spice. He's a workaholic as well. And it's foolishly played only just in the part of discoveries. See first Babo. Babo. Still Babo. Looking for Jonathan Freeman. And the bundles of Masa Moses is creeping in behind Jonathan Freeman and see first Babo. And he finds that little space to squeeze it on the floor. And again, it's off target. And uh, offside, the ball goes throwing quickly to their goalkeeper discoveries. Elijah Kome comes. And to Vanin Dolly. On to Babo. Augustine. Mobile will come across the halfway mark. They're looking for more opportunities in front. And when you have the chance to catch them on the break, it could be a massive chance. But I think that's how, uh, that's what Jubilee are not doing. In return, they should be very quick to get into attack when they dispossessed. Thomas Brock gets it. He's going to keep it. Well, he should keep it to his feet. Oscar gets it. And they keep it. Well, Jubilee. They know they are just one step away from making it to the next stage of the Orange FA Cup. Jubilee. Discoveries are playing massive football, entertaining, but their fans are quiet because they know that the dreams are not coming through not yet still down by two goals to one on aggregate the band have stopped the singing have stopped the dancing have stopped and they are cautiously waiting for an opportunity probably from jonathan freeman or maybe c first bubble to start the dancing again jubilee are holding tight they are cautiously holding tight so it's a game of caution. Oscar. Thomas Bro will come on his right foot. He cuts inside. Dispossessed Thomas. In a game of cautious optimism. Between Jubilee and Discoveries. 2-1 on aggregate. Jubilee leads. The Tusa field is silent for a while now. No singing, no dancing. Each of the two teams got their fans on their heels. Tyrese White will defend for Jubilee. Oscar will come forward. Thomas, Isaiah, Bro, not Bro, it's Bro. It's called a finish. Well, he's pushed. And the referee says, play continue. Ezekiel Cohn, nothing says the referee. You got to be strong, boy. Somehow, it's easy to say we are now in Italy. Or probably in the German Bundesliga. 
It got to be strength. You got to be physical. Is it a corner kick? Yes, I think it is a corner kick. Discovery is plus inside. The ball comes up. Oh, and it's just. Halle Peters. Well, it's Peter S. Halley. And uh, he just, yeah, he needed to take some time. They got some power behind it instead of winning off target. Halley would have been a fine goal for him. And that would have shut the doors for optimism for Jubilee. George will fight for it. See first Babo. Yes, good one from the goalkeeper. Long ball. Jubilee will still fight. Sam Moses. Beautiful football. They are dispossessed by Tyrese White. George will have to fight on. Where well, he's got energy, he's got power. Yes, the referee signal was good. He was obstructed, lost possession, lost control. And when he finally gets control to pass, again, the ball is obstructed and it goes. So, Fidesco, good decision. The fans won't love it, but you got to stand strong on that one. Dolobapu's long ball. Into touch. Discoveries. Is it dream come true for them or is it dream come to an end for them? And it's Jubilee for them who may bring their dream of playing the FA Cup final, the Orange FA Cup finals to an end. They're still fighting though. But they've got Jubilee to contend with. And Jubilee, on this occasion, Peter Harley. Harley finds his way. Is it a foul? How is that a foul? Well, I'm not sure that's a foul. He's easily dispossessed. Well, how can that be a foul? Referee. Fidesco, best man, how can that be a foul? Ball floater inside, the goalkeeper comes and. Yes. See first, Babo. Still got some time. Two minutes plus at a time. The dream of discoveries seemed to be coming to an end. The dream to play in the final fading away. How did he? Thomas Bro. See first Babel. Discoveries have got two minutes of normal time plus at a time. Maybe just the girls of football are smiling with them in the last stages of this game. Jonathan Freeman isn't sparking any much longer. Sifos Babo so too isn't sparking that much. So Moses have lost the sparks as well. Their dream 
probably has faded. The offense are aware. Tyrese White is on it. He's going to play a long ball into the half of Discovery. He floats it inside, looking for Ezekiel Cone. Yes. And it's played by Benigo. Maybe a dream ends for discoveries. They've done fantastically well in this competition. It's a long ball. Alvis Peters will defend for Jubilee. And the guards is Kekula who will quit for her. And he's urging all his teammates forward. Vanny Dolly. He will throw a long one into the half of Jubilee. Tyrese Way will come up. And again, Oscar. Jubilee will fight. Is he get called? He could play this one over the goalkeeper if he has a chance to get it. The goalkeeper is out. He's going to square it. It's well defended. Corner kick. Well, it should be a corner kick. Well, it, the referee, I think it should have been a corner kick. No, referee, best man, Fidel School, best man. That on that occasion, I thought I was convinced it was a corner kick. Well, Jubilee, they've got just few minutes to rumble away into the next stage of the Orange Liberia Football Association Orange FA Cup. Discoveries may have won it on the night, but that win is not probably sufficient to push them on into the next stage of this competition. They still got a fight to put up. They could square this game up. Freeman Jonathan, he's been tightly marked, but they are dispossessed. Jubilee, Ezekiel Kuhn keeps it to his feet. Ezekiel Kuhn leaves it for Oscar. And it's a stalwart defending from Augustus Moba. Augustus Moba, very, very stalwart in the half of uh, Discovery's defense. Well, they know their chances are lost if it stays like this. Jubilee have been toward, toward you can say. Jubilee have been consistent in keeping the pressure on discoveries. They have kept their lead on aggregate. And they might just win it on aggregate. Discoveries. Massive fight, massive, massive fight. The fans were here with the bands, with the singing, the chanting, and the dancing, but they've all stopped now. Maybe they've lost their energy. Or perhaps the gods have spoken, the gods of football have spoken to them that it is not their day, but nothing is lost yet because see, first Babo is on it. He could square for Jonathan Fremont and they could finish. Wow. How did he not lay off for Jonathan Fremont? Fremont has his hands on his head. And you know, it is their last golden opportunity. Still. Jonathan from a most diagonal. Tyrese Way, good defending. He touches the ball. Well. Don't know how much of other time we are playing for in this game. We probably lost, well, six minutes of um, other time in this game. We've gone four minutes of those six. In two minutes, discoveries. Well, they came to discover new horizons. They did not. Maybe you can say they didn't. But they put up a good fight. The fight has been good. Samora Deco. 
Wow. Elijah Coleman. This could be. And it's just off target. If you ask me how did they not go on Tiger, I tell you to ask the gods of football. Because that was a gifted opportunity. They could get it. Well defended. The fight is on. In the last two minutes or probably one and a half minutes, Jubilee will be stubborn is on the volley. And they have to be more gallant in their defending. The stadium is on its feet. The faithfuls of Jubilee are confident as their day. And the faithfuls of Discoveries are just probably have been informed by the gods of football that it is not their day. Well, they put up a good fight. Thomas Bro is on it for Jubilee. The boys of Visa Allen Clyde, they could get something out of this one. They could get a Jubilee! Jubilee! And the church boys have got the goals of football on their side. In the dying ambush, when the matter almost, they come back on level terms. And it's a substitute, George, who wears the jersey number 19. And the goals of football, as I did say, has spoken, and they have spoken in favor of Jubilee. See, first battle, heartbroken, Jonathan Freeman beaten. It is not their day. It is not their dream come true. That the discoveries of New Horizons stops here, probably on the night in the FA Cup. 1-1. One, one. Jubilee are back on terms. And the boys of Discoveries are heartbroken. They open it up. Jubilee comes back on level terms. And it is one apiece. And their fans are walking away in disappointment. Their dreams didn't come true. A beautiful football from the two teams on the night. But if there is anything that is more disappointed, it is discoveries. They came to discover new horizons. They did so well. Put up a massive fight against Jubilee. But Jubilee were in front already on March Day 1. Two goals to nil. Discoveries came here. Led them in the F in the first half until just a minute ago when Jubilee came back and got the game on level 10. Stupendous, classic, massive, pulsating football game. It's been a breathtaking football match from the two teams. But if there is anything that's too strong amongst the two, I think it was the defending spirit of Jubilee Football Club. Fantastic football on the night. The boys of the Church of Jubilee, the boys of Bishop Allen Clay, ends it up in a fantastic fashion. They are in the next stage of the Orange Liberia Football Association FA Cup. It is discoveries who are laughing on the wrong sides of their mob. They got Samoses maybe to blame for this game not coming their way. He missed the penalty. If he has scored that, they probably would have taken this game into extra time. Maybe for penalties and would have been a fantastic game. But trust my words, Jonathan Freeman did not spark on this occasion. And when he doesn't spark, when it matters most, it is discoveries who will laugh on the wrong sides of their mouth. They've tried so hard. they fought so hard. they did so well. It's been a massive game. It's been breathtaking and, as I said, pulsating. But discoveries just didn't find their way to find new horizons. On the night when we brought you breathtaking football from the Tulsa, this has been Intel Sports live coverage. And my name is Theo Phillips. You can follow on behalf of the entire team, my, my producer, uh, Rufus Mobile, and, of course, my cameraman, uh, Steven Yates. This has been Intel Sports live coverage of the Orange Effect Cup from the two South Field, Gardnerville. Remember earlier on, we brought you Invincible 11 and, of course, Junior Professionals. And that's the way we'd like to bid you farewell. Thanks to all of our crew and all of our men who has been on the cross uh, 
the Levin Brev, making sure we brought you this live game. The CEO Bizarro Paros has been glue, and all of our team of officials, our management staff, who has also been in the back seat. Thanks to all of you. It's been a night of class of epic of epical football from Tusa Field. Bye bye. When we do have the chance to catch you another time, we surely will do, and we'll give you a description of events. My name is Tio Chica for Columbia for the team. Farewell.